Several years had passed since they last saw the container. It accompanied them everywhere, but was constantly forgotten. But there was no longer any doubt that it was time to find out what was inside. Their mouths dropped open as the contents were revealed. They certainly hadn't planned on this happening. Kathy and Brandon Gunn's wedding day was everything they could have hoped for and more. The couple smiled and laughed as they observed the revelry. Inspiring gifts piled up on the table as well. But there was one that stood out to them. There was a sealed envelope fastened to the silver box. There was only one note on it, and it instructed them to keep it sealed until their first major disagreement as husband and wife. They managed to resist the urge despite how strong it was. The present was eventually stashed away in storage. Kathy and Brandon eventually started a family and raised two lovely children, a boy and a girl. Nonetheless, Kathy started to feel like she was missing out on something. It started out as a minor source of irritation, but it grew over the years and eventually began to affect her day-to-day -day life. The forgotten box sat in the back of the closet. The day will come when. Over the years, they fought a few times. It didn't make sense to use the mystery package on a fight over who should do the dishes or the laundry. Until a shocking email showed up in Kathy's inbox, she was doing okay. Then, things took a turn for the worse, and she desperately needed a safety net. Kathy felt she had given up her professional goals in favor of raising her family. For many years, she had put her enthusiasm for her job on hold while she focused on raising her family. She saw her former co-workers and friends advance in their careers, but she felt stuck at the same level. Even one email was all it took to plant the seed of resentment that eventually sprouted into feelings of doubt about her marriage. A new position had been extended to her. It was the best case scenario in terms of salary and work environment. Nonetheless, there were two major roadblocks. At first, it occurred across the country. To add insult to injury, Brandon insisted they remain where they were. It all went off the rails from there. Their relationship had hit rock bottom. The main disagreement was sparked by the two parties' opposing desires one to remain and the other to depart. They started spending the nights apart, and any attempts at resolution were met with tears and silence. They were each not only disoriented but also convinced that the other person didn't give a damn. Brandon's ex-girlfriend reappeared out of nowhere. The gift was unmarked, so Kathy had no idea who had given it to them or why they couldn't open it right away. And still it gathered dust in the closet after three relocations and nearly a decade. But now that the future of their marriage seemed seriously threatened, Brandon's thoughts were turning back to the gift. Poor Kathy had no idea it had anything to do with his exes. Kathy saw her husband fixating on the opened envelope containing their old wedding present one day. There was evidence of his emotional state in the form of red puffy eyes. She looked at the name written underneath the standard greeting card message. The message was clearly not from Brandon's new wife, but from his ex-girlfriend. A symbol of their unwavering commitment to one another and to their marriage, the present had taken on new meaning over the years. Seeing the ex's name now felt like a final blow of defeat. But I'm confused by the directions. Was this a desperate attempt to reclaim Brandon? Was it to take pleasure in their misfortune? As for the contents, what were they? Since there was no longer anything to lose, they decided to go for it. Kathy ripped off one end of the silver wrapping, and Brandon did the same with the other. Two presents, wrapped in soft yellow tissue paper, were found in the next layer. Moreover, there were two individual, smaller notes. Kathy felt an overwhelming sense of panic. The first package contained a raspberry-scented bath set that looked like it could have been purchased for a couple dollars at any drugstore or discount store. It was insulting and hard to make sense of. Before reading the first note, they had no idea what was going on. Brandon's voice cracked as the words came out of his mouth. There was a miniature vase and two wine glasses in the second section. Besides a note, Kathy also gave me $20. The contents of the letter moved them to tears. It was the furthest thing from anyone's expectations that an ex would do. There wasn't any ill will or pleasure in seeing their marriage fail. The help offered was merely suggestions. The long letter from Brandon triggered his anxiety about transitions. It was a major cause of the demise of their previous romance. The two of you make a fantastic team. It's not always easy living. Don't let anything, small or large, spoil that. What followed were detailed procedures for restoring peace. Brandon was supposed to give Kathy a bubble bath with the included kit and arrange her flowers in a vase. They planned to use the funds to order pizza and rent a movie to enjoy with their new wine glasses. As a whole, the gesture was a reminder of the value of talking things out with others and sticking by each other. They exchanged blank looks. Nobody ever thinks their ex-spouse will try to save their next marriage. 
However, there it was, words so straightforward yet so illuminating that they brought to mind things they had forgotten. Brandon, opening the bathroom vanity, declared, let's sell the house. Disbelieving, Kathy just looked at him. They had a lengthy discussion over a 12-inch pepperoni pizza and several bottles of red wine, during which time many more tears were shed and ultimately reached a conclusion. Kathy's new job sounds fantastic, and Brandon will be able to work from anywhere. Ten years of marriage saved by a box that had been sitting unused in a closet. Kathy felt compelled to tell her story in the hopes that it would help others going through similar experiences. After opening the wedding present, Kathy posted on Facebook that the box had been collecting dust for the previous nine years and three moves. And yet, it did in some way teach us tolerance, understanding, compromise, and patience. Kathy then revealed the profound insight she had gained thanks to the present. Kathy continued, as we grew closer as friends, partners, and teammates, our marriage flourished. It was only today that I had an epiphany that led to the decision to open that box. We already had everything we needed to build and sustain a happy, healthy marriage within ourselves, and I finally understood that. Her Facebook update quickly went viral. The couple's story took an unexpected turn only three months after Kathy made the Facebook post. You see, the story was picked up and shared on social media by the hugely popular motivational website Love What Matters. The story quickly went viral, bringing widespread attention to Brandon, Kathy, and their wedding gift. There are currently over 20,000 likes on the Love What Matters post and over 4,000 shares. Even Kathy's initial Facebook post gained traction after that. In fact, the family is still hearing from people who read their story. And the vast majority are complimentary. Kathy found herself moved by a few of the responses. The story of the wedding present and Brandon and Kathy's extraordinary demonstration of patience moved and inspired people from all walks of life and all corners of the globe. One Facebook user said, I think the gift worked just the way it was intended to. You left it on the shelf in the closet and were forced to look at it every time you used that room. In addition, it was a silent reminder to you both and probably in some ways acted as a set of breaks when you did disagree about something, the user said. The anger is being contained and not allowed to erupt like a volcano. The gift and the thought that Brandon's ex had put into it were met with widespread praise from the internet community. Also, Kathy had mulled over the significance of Brandon's ex-wedding girlfriend's gift for a while. In an interview with ABC News, Kathy said, I felt if we haven't opened the box yet, we've got everything we need to make this thing work. When we were first married, we thought the box's contents would bring us back together.